हेलो स्टूडेंट्स सो इन माय प्रीवियस लेक्चर आई टोल्ड यू अबाउट द स्ट्रक्चरल इलिसोडेशन ऑफ अल्फा टेपिन नाउ द फाइनली द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ अल्फा टेपिन दैट वाज कंफर्म्ड बाय इट्स सिंथेसिस सो लेट्स एक्सप्लेन द सिंथेसिस ऑफ दिस अल्फा टेपिन सो इट्स सिंथेसिस दैट्स वाज टू सिंथेसिस आर देयर so first of all the synthesis which was given by the uh, perkin junior perkin junior meldrum and fisher so it was given in 1908 so <coughs> this uh, synthesis for the synthesis the reactant molecule that was taken so what was the strategy that was followed to get the reactant molecule so this is our alpha terpenoid this is the alpha terpenoid so which should be the starting material what should be the starting material for the synthesis so for this the strategy which was followed by this perkin junior means suppose i convert it into or we can see a like a retrosynthetic analysis so this can be obtained how we can obtain this double bond for here this can be obtained suppose if we have oh group or suppose if we have any leaving group like bromine and then after the removal of this h2 molecule we can get a double bond over here and and one of the is suppose coh group is present over here so how we can obtain from this coh group this from this coh uh, group how can we obtain this tertiary e alcohol over here so this tertiary alcohol that can be obtained if we convert this coh group into ester and the ester that can be in presence of this methyl magnesium bromide so this ester that would be converted into the uh, this uh, ketone and finally the ketone that would be converted into the tertiary alcohol okay so <coughs> now this one so how this one can be obtained so this can be obtained suppose if we have a hydroxy acid i mean suppose aromatic hydroxy acid suppose if we have this aromatic hydroxy acid so aromatic hydroxy acid after reduction so complete reduction of this aromatic hydroxy acid that will be converted into this aliphatic one and finally this coh group that can be converted into this tertiary alcohol and this oh group that can be removed and we can bring a double bond over here so this is the strategy so this is the strategy that was that was follow strategy so this is a strategy that was followed so means what is the starting material that we can take the starting material that was taken the starting material is for further uh, we can say the starting material is orthotoric acid So this is the starting material. Starting material that we may take. Okay. So let's take this orthotolic acid as the starting material. This is orthotolic acid. Sorry, the orthotolic acid. Now. now what we have to bring a oh group over here so that can be bring or we can bring it suppose if we do the sulfonation using h2so4 what was done first sulfonation was done so sulfonation so sulfonation it brings the electrophile so3h group at which position it will bring it will bring at this position as the coh group the coh group is matter directing this coh group is matter directing whereas this ch3 group is ortho para directing okay 
so para directing is block so para directing is block and ortho position are available or this ortho position ortho to the methyl this is available and meta to the this cvh that is this is also available so it means so following this directing effect so what we can get we can get the we can get so3h group over here we can get this so3h group over here cuh group okay so now finally this can be converted into this oh group by koh fusion by koh fusion we can bring now so after koh fusion we will get the this oh sorry oh group over here now now this can be converted that can be converted to this by the reduction so by sodium ethanol reduction sodium ethanol reduction we can convert this aromatic ring into the aliphatic one okay now we have to bring one of the double bond over here so now in presence of this hbr in presence of hbr so this would be replaced by this hbr we are being the good uh, leaving group that's why it has been replaced by this hbr and now in presence of pyridine now in presence of pyridine this they have one of the h is present over here so this hbr that will be removed and we will get a double bond over here cooh okay so we have got this much part now that should be converted into the cuh group that should be converted into this one so for this uh, we will acidify it first convert it into the ester c2h5oh and h plus so this would be converted into co2 at now further in presence of methyl magnesium bromide so for the right it this way so mgbr mgbr o it that would be removed and this would be converted into now further so one of the methyl group is added one of the methyl group is added and now we have to bring one methyl group and oh so again we can uh, do the reaction with ch3mgbr and further hydrolysis further hydrolysis so So what we can get, we may get the product, final product. So this would OH. So like this, in this way, this alpha terpenoid that can be obtained. So this was obtained by the Perkin Junior Meltram and Fisher. So now let's see another method. So the another method. So this can be the alpha terpenoid that can be obtained the second method by using using diel sander reaction diel sander reaction so for this what were the uh, 
what were the this reactants taken so using so what we have to we have to prepare this alpha terpenium so reactants which were taken are okay so this is one of the reactant that was taken and we know that one this is 2 methyl 1 2 3 3 butadiene 2 methyl 1 3 butadiene so this is 2 methyl 1 3 butadiene and it was added with to the this is 2 methyl 1 3 butadiene or this is the isoprene that we call it isoprene unit also and this is this is uh, methyl and this is vinyl ketone this is methyl vinyl ketone and this is our 2 methyl 1 3 butadiene butadiene so heat it it will undergo diels sider reaction so as we can say this is a diene this can be seen as a diene and this is a dienophile so we know that this is a dienophile it should be electron deficient as it contains the this one of the carbonyl group that's why this dienophile is a electron deficient species and this should be electron rich so this is electron rich because it contains the one of the Uh, one of the electron releasing group one of the electron releasing group that contains electron withdrawing group that's why it will act as a it will act as a uh, diene and it will act as a dienophile so finally that after diels sider reaction so you will get uh, it will undergo cyclization and that would be written like this So double bond, one of the new double bond is formed over here. This is the new single bond which is formed. This is the another bond which is formed, and finally we can write this thing. So we have obtained this part, and now we have to convert this into the tertiary OH, uh, and that can be done by using methyl magnesium bromide. Methyl magnesium bromide, and we may get. we may get okay so like this or otherwise so same reaction same reaction can also be used to get the limonene also so if we treat it with if we treat it with grignard if we treat with bitting reagent that is triphenyl phosphine thiolene triphenyl phosphine so in case of this o that we can get the we can obtain the limonene by the wittig reaction so that so this is the limonene that we can this is the another terpenoid that can be obtained by using this reaction so these are the two synthetic method this is quite two step synthetic method so like this okay thank you